Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today's lesson is on slip couplings. I'm going to explain what they are used for. I'm going to show you how to make some and also how to adapt them from existing fittings. So what is a slip coupling? Okay, so a cu it, it is a coupling which goes completely on the pipe like this. Whereas a normal coupling has got stops on it. So it only goes in that far. So the idea being with a slip coupling, you could push it in and push it back. So you could push it in, push it back. Right, so for example, we've got some work here, 200 mil centre to centre. And we want to cut a T 100 mil centre to centre. Measure 100 mil there. And draw a line there and there. So we're going to cut the we're going to cut it in two spots. Okay. So the issue being we can't because it's two fixed points. We can't pull it apart. We've got to try and pull it apart, but we can't because it's, it's all fixed. We can't pull it apart. So this is where this this is where the slip coupling comes in. Right, so what you'll then do, not too near your joins, but in about the middle, you would you'd like yeah. another cut. So that cut is about 35 mil from the end. We'll put another cut, 35 mil. From the end. Right. What we've done so far, so we've cut a chunk out of here. Okay, so remember we can't move these points, they're fixed. Right, so what we can then do, put a slip coupling on there, slip coupling on there, Put that in there, that T in there, that T in there, like that. And then what we then need to do is you need to gauge sort of roughly how far on the coupling goes, which is about that far. And you push this one on to there, and the same. And push that one into there, like that. Okay, so that's how we we'll then put our pipe in there, like that. So if you can't move this pipe that way and that way, that's what you can use it for. Right, so this day and age, you can you can buy slip couplings. They cost approximately the same price as a normal coupling. But chances are, when you need a slip coupling, you're on site or plumbing somewhere, and you haven't got time to go and get one. So you can. So the easiest option is to adapt a normal coupling just by filing it by filing it with a round file to the pipe fits. That's the easiest option. So let me quickly show you. Right, so with our normal coupling, okay, it stops there. So what we're going to do, just using a round file, using a round file, we're just going to, we're sort of filing out 
the middle stop. Okay, but be, being careful not to not to cause too much damage on the side bits on the actual this bit. We're just aiming for the middle bit. Have a look. Eventually, it goes all the way through like that. Okay. Right, so that's one that we've made. Put that aside for a minute. Put it out. You just now need just to cut it before the radius starts with a hacksaw, which is just need to cut it there. That's our slip coupling like that. And the final method is using the tube expanders, okay, so covered in a previous video. Okay, but what we need to do first is we need to work out how deep this is going to be, the expander is. About 10 mil, 10 millimeters. Right, so what we need to do is we need to get some pipe 20 millimeters long. We're gonna cut it with the pipe slice. Uh, using some grips, need to make this a bit soft, need to make this softer, otherwise it will split when we expand it. So we're gonna heat this up cherry red. Tube expander. One, put it in one way. Take it out and put it in that way. Uh, then expand it like that. Uh, and there you have it. So that's using the tube expander. So that was the adapted one that we filed out. That was a swaging tool one, and that was a tube expander one. Okay, so the adapted one's probably going to be the best to use because it's a bit bit longer so there's a bit more a bit more surface area now you know all about slip couplings it's your turn to make one and have a go at my exercise